Thing one tonight, we have a new U.N. ambassador, a serious position that's held by, been held by some true heavyweights, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, Madeleine Albright, even George H.W. Bush, just to name a few. And then Trump got elected and anointed, appointed Nikki Haley, who gave the job some real shine. I think she's helped make it a much better position, if you want to know the truth. I mean, she's made it a very glamorous position. She's made it a, a more important, more importantly, a more important position. After Haley quit, Trump wanted former Fox News anchor and State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert, who on an official trip to Saudi Arabia with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to talk about the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, posted this smiling touristy photo of herself on Instagram in the capital city of Riyadh. Now, though, the search is over. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell tweeted out yesterday the Senate just confirmed POTUS's impressive nominee for the critical role of U.S.-U.N. ambassador. A native Kentuckian, Kelly Craft. Kelly, how are you? Hey, I am great. I'm so happy that you're here. And you probably, as part of your job, work and talk a lot with Justin Trudeau, the very handsome Canadian prime minister who uh, everybody swoons over in America. What's he like? Is he as charming in real life as he seems on television? He is. He's, he's very charming. He is very smart. Uh, he is all about the Canadians. Uh, he reminds me a lot of our president as far as he really looks after the working class people here. U.N. Ambassador Kelly Nightcraft is thing two in 60 seconds. <laughs> Kelly Nightcraft was confirmed as our new ambassador to the United Nations yesterday, a nominee described by the Democrats on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee as having, quote, neither the experience nor the skill set to represent U.S. interests or challenge the world's most seasoned diplomats on the global stage. But it helps that she's from Kentucky, which is the home of Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who vouched for her early on. Also helped that she and her husband, the billionaire coal magnate Joe Kraft, focused their dollars on reelecting McConnell in the 2014 cycle, donating more than $1.6 million since 2011 to Republicans. Joe Kraft even kicked in a million dollars to Trump's inauguration. And so the coal baron's wife, Kelly Knight Kraft, will now represent the United States on the world stage at the U.N. Do you yourself believe in climate change? I believe there are scientists that are b both on both sides that are accurate. You believe that there's scientists that, that science that proves that there is man is not causing climate change? Well, I think that both sides have you know they have their own um, um, results from their studies, and, and I appreciate and I respect both sides of the science. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.